especially when you know IU and Kentucky aren't playing in the regular season anymore. You know, now we're playing even at a bigger stage where a lot more is on the line. So to get this win against such a great team like Kentucky, you know, this is something I'm going to worry for the rest of my life. I mean, it's wasn't to see other guys involved, especially the freshman and Thomas Brown, what he was able to do today. Yeah, Thomas played like a veteran, man. And he played with unbelievable freedom, unbelievable confidence. You know, he got two quick fouls in the first half, but I felt like he calmed himself down. And when we got him the ball, he just scored it for us. You'll get the chatter. You've heard the chatter about Coach Green throughout the season, I mean, just as far as some of the criticism. But this guy has stuck it all through. And you guys to the Sweet 16. How happy are you for him to see what he's been able to accomplish with you guys this year? You know, I'm very happy for him just because he's such a smart coach and what he tells us and what he wants us to do. And, you know, when we had that rough start, you know, he kept believing in us, pushing us because he saw our potential. And in my opinion, he should be, you know, coach of the year. Yogi, what do you think the atmosphere is going to be like with the student body coming back in spring break this week preparing for the Philadelphia games? Um, I'm expecting to get high fives on the way to class, every single class. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, you will. <laughs> you know, we'll see. We'll see. Uh, I expect them to be, you know, Maybe, like I just said, you know, a high five is a good game. You know, I know they're definitely proud of us. You know, if we could only get that student body to travel over to Philly, you know, make that a home game for us, that'd be nice. It's a good